I'm literally in the gym car park right now. Someone's coming to their car. Okay, they won't spot me. Um, hello everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I just thought I'd do like a daily vlog and just show you what I get up to in a normal day at home. So So basically, I have driven to the gym, it's half eight, I have a seminar at ten, which I need to be back for on time, because it's live, and they said they won't let anyone into the seminar if you're late, so I need to be on time, so I'm going to go and I need, I'm going to do about 50 minutes, because then that will get me back with enough time without looking like shit on this Zoom. So yeah, I'm going to go in and then I'm going to go home and get changed and stuff like that so yeah i'm not going to take you into the gym with me because hello oh my god this lighting is always so shit anyway i'm back from the gym and i don't have long before my seminar and i need to make a protein shake and have a shower so i'm using my new ninja oh my god let me grab a banana before i do this hold on where's my fucking oh my I'm just trying to get the best light as possible, which is not really working. But anyway, I, may, I am using my new Ninja this morning to make a protein shake, because I like to have one after the gym, and I'm rushing because I can't be late to this live webinar, because they won't let me in if I'm late, and it's really important that I go. So I just put, I think I need, I'll put that here. A scoop of chocolate chocolate protein powder and then I add a banana peanut butter and oat milk but we've run out of oat milk yesterday so I'm gonna have to use normal milk and I've been using this ninja now for like a couple days oh my god it's so much better than the Nutribullet why did I think like the Nutribullet why did I think I, why did I think there was only like one blender in the whole world this is fucking amazing like it blends my shakes so much better. And then I just do like a big scoop of peanut butter. It blends my shakes so much better. It's so much easier to clean. It's so much faster. Like, oh my God. If you're thinking about getting this or an Ninja Bullet, get this, I'm being serious. And it's literally the same price point. So you honestly can't go wrong. I mean, Ninja, if you do want to sponsor me, um. I'd be happy to and then I just put some milk in it and then like a couple ice cubes. Yeah, you know this thing that goes on top of the shaker, so much easier to clean. My Nutribullet one was so hard, like, you know when you make green juice and it's all like, all the green is like, oh, it's disgusting. Anyway, you lock it in place just like the Nutribullet and then you click blend. And then look, it counts down from 50. We got honey in the bag, <laughs> look. So I have to do nothing. I just stand here and wait for it to be done. And it's the best thing ever. I think honey's getting a bit scared. I'm gonna pour it. So it's counting down, it's almost ready, and then I'm just gonna, just gonna put it in my Starbucks cup. Ugh, my shake is all done now, and I'm just gonna pour it into my Starbucks cup, but look at that consistency. It's so much more easier to drink than the Nutribullets. It just blends it nice, nicely. Fucking hell, literally. And then I'm just gonna put, oh God, oh shit, wrong way, wrong way. And I've made it, I need to go and grab my laptop super quickly. But look, take a sip. Mm. They're the best, I love having them in the mornings now. To the domestic okay, space. I've got my camera and I've seen this particular kind of the last five for one years. Sec, but I kind of need to listen to this. But I've just had a shower, literally bombed the shower, ran into my room, set it up. She was like four minutes late anyway, and she told everyone not to be late, so I was early. It was delicious. And I'm just gonna watch this now and just chill and listen to it. 
ask questions, and, and then I'm probably just going to get ready for the day. I've got some uni work to do, and mum wants to go m &S, so not the most exciting day, but this is real life, people. This is what I do. Okay, I've just finished my seminar, and on my mind, packing for uni, because I'm going back on Thursday, so I'm going back the day that you watch this, and I'm just like, oh my god, I need to pack, I need to pack, I need to pack, because I hate leaving it to the last minute. I mean, guys... That all needs to fit in my suitcase. Please tell me how that's going to happen because I don't think it's going to happen. Um, anyway, that this is the pile that I'm selling on Vinted at the moment because, and this bag as well, because I just have so many things that I love to just give a second home to that I'm just not going to wear again. Um, first thing is this gorgeous like white bomber jacket it's like fake leather jacket from um i saw it first it's actually so nice but i just have a similar one look this is my similar one this i bought this from um oh god where did i buy that from i bought that from asos like last october so i just don't need another like white leather jacket do you know what i mean and then i'm also selling these very crinkled i will iron these these like flares from plt which are just a bit too long for me because I'm like five foot and I forgot to buy these from the petite section. So they just sort of like drag on the floor for me because I'm like five foot. So this, I'm selling them on my vintage. And of course, I'm going to sell this like blue tracksuit, which I got last um, last autumn actually. It's from Zara. I love this tracksuit. Look, where's the front of it? Because it says on the front, it says Venice, Los Angeles, California. And I love it. And this is actually cropped with matching joggers which also say venice on it but i've just i've just grown out of it like i have another blue tracksuit and i just don't need this one right now i just won't wear it again so i'm gonna sell that oh god i thought you were gonna fall i've just made a cup of tea but yeah i would actually really recommend vintage for selling your clothes it's just so easy it's free there's no seller fees i'll attach a little video of what my shop looks like and how you can upload um an item of clothing but I love giving my clothes a second home and I love just passing them on because I just, my wardrobe sometimes is just like nobody needs this many clothes, nobody needs this many clothes so I just love selling my pre-lived items, I think it's just really good. So yeah, I really recommend downloading Vinted um, to sell your pre-loved clothes, it's not even clothes, you can sell home decor, makeup, pretty much anything you want on there just got if you just want a little spring clean declutter of your wardrobe vintage is the place to do that that was literally the longest like seminar like chat i've ever been in that was an hour and a half oh god but i did it i was gonna leave when they started asking like questions and people were saying questions that like were not i didn't find that relevant so i was gonna leave but i stuck it out and listened to all the questions and then I left. So it was an hour and a half. It was only supposed to be 50 minutes. Um, but yeah, that's my China. Oh, I think I've got one more lecture. But that's my China module done. And I'm, I'm feeling really weird about it. Like, I feel really weird about finishing, like, first year uni. Like, this feels so weird. Like, I'm almost scared. Like, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. But I just, I feel really weird. Like, it was only yesterday feels like yesterday that I moved in. So I have like, I'll show you. I've got like sausage and egg, like little like flatbreads. They're so good. I was going to make baked oats, but once I've had that shake, I don't crave baked oats because it's like kind of like the same thing. I need something like properly savoury. So I have sausage and egg on toast. Um... so a bit sad because they were saying in the seminar that like there's not um there's not a year to like china imperial late imperial module because there's not enough lecturers or something like that because my lecturer now has gone on like a two-year research leave so there's not enough people to teach it therefore i can't learn about china next year you have to do an independent research project she said it's like a mini dissertation where it's just like a project but it's only like a four thousand word essay across the whole year it's less scary than a dissertation so i might do that in china mm. it's my favorite module that i've done this year so if you like chinese history comment down below what you like about it i don't know we're such nerds on this channel Plans for today, 
I've kind of gone all over the place. I think me and mum are going to go into West Bridgeford later. And then I might see Maddie for a coffee. I don't know yet. I've just texted her, so we'll see. We'll see what she replies. But yeah, it's so cloudy today. Like, it's disgusting. Like, I don't even want to sit outside and have a coffee. Like, it's so cold. But that's the only thing we can do at the moment. So we're embracing it. And I think I'm going to wear my yellow Pangea set. Because I haven't worn it yet since I've been back. Because I don't feel like it's a tracksuit to like wear around the house because it's such a bright colour. Does that make sense? Or am I just being stupid? Because it's like, it's almost like my nice tracksuit that I'll wear when I'm going out. Want to make a little bit of an effort but like not dress up too much if that makes sense. So like wearing it around the house. I feel like it's just too special to wear around the house. So yeah, that's my logic. I'm so cold in this house. Like, can you see that white blanket below me? I am freezing. Anyway, I've just been sat here trying to get this, well, like, trying to start this essay. And honestly, this topic is the hardest topic of my life. It's about state formations, 1815 to 1915. And I've literally got no clue. I've literally got no clue. What, what 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 causes a state between what causes a state does war cause a state i've got to think about all these other factors and then create an argument and you know what i'd much rather be doing my china essay right now but i need to get this one a portion of this one done first because it's in the first i've been very stressed about it today um but i'm gonna go to MS with mum to take my mind off it for a little bit and then come back and do it all tonight it's just like really confusing so i'm gonna schedule an hour with my um seminar leader just to talk about it because that is like not, i'm not gonna say easy that is the only question i understand of the list of essay questions they've given us that's the only one i understand and it's still fucking hard in itself. So yeah, I would have done the question about um, French Revolution, which there's just more historiography on that. There's like easier articles to find, but I already used that question in my previous assignment. Therefore, you can't use it again. So that's great. So I'm stuck with this question. Um, so yeah, a little bit stressed, a little bit stressed. But we can do it. I just, um, I made a reference table because I saw them on TikTok. He's like, oh, if you like need help with your essays, like make a reference table. So like all your references are in one place. So you have your references, your quotations from that reference, and then like a little box for like critical analysis. So like some of your thoughts on the reading, why like his argument might not be like completely completely sound so yeah i'm doing that uh, i'm just gonna put on a little bit of light makeup so i don't look like a death um yeah i don't think i've shown you this makeup routine yet i just do like super super natural no makeup makeup look um and i've been loving it and it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin because imagine putting foundation on now i'd literally it's my worst nightmare right now. So I just do this like super light makeup just to like brighten my face up. I still got my AirPods in, but I'm not listening to anything. But then, yeah, I've just been having a little bit of a weird day. I think like really realization has set in that this essay is going to be quite hard to do. Um, but that's the easiest question. Like that's the only question I understand. So like I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, I think I just need a meeting with my seminar leader and I'm going to get one for hopefully tomorrow morning at like 9am. I'm going to email him now. He has an office hour, 3 to 4, but I'm fucking going out with mum. So it's just come at such a shit time. Um, but I think there might be one tomorrow, but I'll email him and I'm going to arrange my own office hour. I don't need a whole hour, I just need like, you know what I mean? I need him to basically just tell me what readings to do and where to start because I'm finding it very challenging so I just do my concealer and I use my concealer as my foundation so I try and just like blend it out across my face as much as I can 
Anyway, I hope well, let's stand you up over here. Is that bit better lighting while I do my makeup? Um, I'm wearing, I've got changed and I've put my Nikki Studios blue set on, which I probably will just wear out because it's so comfy. And I love Nikki Studios so much. The quality is unmatched. Yes, it might take a little bit longer to get here because it is from Oslo, I think. Um, but it's just definitely worth the wait. And they had a recent sale. And I'm such an idiot. Like I saw, I saw them post about the sale. Like as soon as it went live, I was like, oh yeah, like I remember to check that out. And then like a week later, I forgot to check it out. And then I looked at it, and everything that I wanted had like sold out. There was only really big sizes left. And because Nikki Studios, I think, runs quite big, like there was only like large joggers left. And I was like, you know what? They're gonna drown me. So there's no point buying them just to say that you have them do you know what i mean so i'm very upset about that but hopefully their new collection drops soon so i can pick up some more like spring bits and i take the chanel tender soleil and just do it on my cheeks so i look like i've caught the sun hi mum hi have you made a list for m s no i don't need one do you know what? what do you need just bin liner very exciting purchase Bin liners, I don't know, just have a look what there is. I might, I, I, I'd say I'll take some, do a food shop and take some things back to uni, but mm, yeah. will the food last that long? Because it's only Tuesday and I'm going back Thursday. That's what the sell-bound date is, isn't it? Well, we'll have a look. Cause I can't be able to go shopping on my own in Manchester. I'd rather have some food bits already with me i've got a new mixer today look a hand blender oh yeah what for because ours blew up did it on sunday yeah i was trying to blend the soup i mean the sauce and it went all smoking and st oh it was awful oh my god yeah it completely blew up Oh, I missed out a step in my routine. That's really annoying. Oh. Whatever, I'll talk about it now. Yes. This is the step that I missed out. I used the Say Glowy Super Gel in shade Star Glow all over my face. And it's just such a nice glowy base. But if I want a bit more of a glow and then just put it on the back of my hand and then just tap it. Just tap it ever so lightly. And I just love it. And look how big that bottle is. I've been using this for months now. And God, I don't think this is going to run out. It's literally the size of my hand. It's huge. I just can't wait to wear this like as a base. With a bit of concealer and bronzer on holiday. Like such a nice glowy summery look. Just put a little bit on my nose. I haven't got a mirror so I'm using you as my mirror. And then because we're only going to the shop. I'm just going to do like. literally like a brush of mascara just literally like the tiniest bit and then a little bit of powder so i don't get too oily even though i don't think i need it i don't need a lot but just tap that in just like that and how long has that taken me literally like five minutes and i just look a little bit more alive and then my lips. <gasps> Oops. I'm really missing my um, lip mask. I left, I literally left everything in Manchester, I'm not gonna lie. That Morphe lip mask literally has saved my lips. So now I'm just on the Vaseline. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, right. Do you want to leave now? Yeah. Bubble broke as soon as we left the house. So I've just put a hat on. We're just waiting at some, what are these called? Level crossing. Um, We're just waiting at some level crossings. There it is. Honey! Honey! <laughs> 
Oh, is she? Go oh, hello. Oh, hello there. Hello. Mm. Also, I got my nails done yesterday. So this color. Ugh, I can't speak today. I got my nails done yesterday. This hand is baby yellow. Can you see? Oh, I should probably show you like this. This hand is baby yellow and I just kept the same shape. And then this hand is baby pink. And I just think they look so cute and just like clean and just, yeah, I like this length. They're a bit longer than I'd get. They're, they're a bit hard to type on the laptop with, but I think they're really nice. It's like squashy vibes. These are my two favorite like spring summer colors. So I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna go with it. Let me see if I can balance you so you can see both hands together. There we go. They're both hands together. They look so pretty. This is what I got. I got some hummus, some cucumbers, some tortilla chips, and then I needed to get some oat milk barista for my shakes. Um, and then I just got some like extra little snacky bits, like some mozzarella. And what are these? Oh, yeah, I thought I'd try these out. Look. Me and Mummy are sat outside cafe here, aren't we? Yeah. And we've got two hot chocolates because it's freezing today. Look at this horrible weather. And then I got a cookie, which are the best. Me and Lip always get these. They are literally the best things ever. Mm. And then what did you get, Mummy? Caramel shortbread. Have a look. Oh, very nice. And then we've got Hun down here, who's being a little nuisance. Mm. But these are the best cho hot chocolates. They're the hot chocolate Milanos, and they're literally amazing. What's that mean, then? It's just like thicker. It's just, just like a thicker hot chocolate than the oh, normal thicker. one. That's probably a bit better. Hmm. So I'm a little coffee day before I have to get back to my horrible essay writing. China, Mojo. They've given us about 40 essay questions that you can pick from. Every single little topic. Yeah. So it depends what your interest is in. Yeah. State Station Empires, they've given us 10 questions. Wow. That's it. Mm. For the whole 11 weeks, they've given us 10 questions. Mm. So then picking one is so hard. Olivia mm -hmm. Boots and MS haul. So I, bumped, I popped into Boots. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I've got the St. Moritz fast tan which I love at the moment I just put it on I'd leave it on overnight just because I feel like it's just the same as like a regular tan and then I ran out of this Ole Hendrickson daily cleanser so I picked up another one and then I got these with some velvet hummus which is the best hummus and these are blue corn chips should I try Got some hummus and chips you some hummus and chips? Yeah. Send of the ring just like a circus. Mmm. Mmm. These chips are so good. Wow. So yummy. Mmm. Wow, I'm really impressed with them. Then I got some potato wedges for tonight. So I bought these potato wedges for our salmon tonight, but we've already got some potatoes, so don't know if we'll eat them. And then I bought. Oh my god, did you buy these? The fester and herb things. Because huh? I bought them as well. Uh, yeah. Well, did you buy the halloumi ones? I bought the halloumi. And then I bought a little pot of Italian mozzarella because these are nice and like salads. And they've got pesto in and these just really yummy. And then of course I had to get two packs of baby cucumbers. The best with hummus and for a snack. And then I got some barista oat milk for my protein shakes. And then I got the best sausages you will ever eat they're, they're these ones choo, choo, choo. these are the best like they're so tasty 
And like I hate fatty sausages. And these are just perfect because they're small and like thin. And I have these. This is what I had this morning. Amazing. So yeah, that was my side of the haul. What did you get? Oh, we put it all away? Yeah. Oh, yogurt. I need to show the people. Oh. What did you get? Come on. Yogurts. Halloumi parcels. Mozzarella. Nice. Do people know what mozzarella is? Yeah, people will know. Yeah. Um, and then we popped into Waterstones and mum bought me this book. It's called Wild Swans, Three Daughters of China. Because obviously I'm doing a China module. Um, and it's about, throughout the story, it's about three generations of women in their own family. The grandmother, the mother, and then the daughter. And apparently it's amazing. Mum's read it, so we picked that up and I'll report back on what that book's like. So yeah, quite a successful outing, I think. These are so good. I can't get over them. We're having salmon for dinner. <laughs> but we're having it a little bit later, so... I'm snacking. But I'm just gonna do... Oh, I'm just gonna do some more of my essay now. Because I haven't done enough of it today. And then I got a lecture to do later. Kind of chip. Hmm? Just doing my flowers. Show the people your flowers. I'm really not. Hmm? I forgot to get baby cucumbers as well. I got them. Mm. I know, but you're going away with them, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Depends how much I can eat before. Mary's at work. So it's just us, Jim. What are you doing now? Me? Yeah. Um, Honey doesn't need a walk, does she? Huh? No, she's had one, hasn't mm. she? I'm just, she just needs her dinner. Best snack. Wow. If you get anything from this haul, get these this is what they look like try one they're really good don't let the blue put the you blue off blue ones don't let oh. the blue put you off come on come on no do a live taste test silly mm. dip it Mm. Mm. Okay, it's a little bit later now and I've just been sat here doing my essay. I managed to get just a really late appointment with my seminar leader. Um, he literally said I've got five minutes now, so he sent me the Zoom link and set it up. So that was perfect. They don't really like give away too much. Like They don't really say too much. They kind of just say, well, what do you think? And then they kind of like validate your argument. I don't really know. It was... It was helpful, but like not that helpful. Cause obviously you can't say write this, write this, write this. Um, he kind of just gave me like a rough structure. So it's giving me a starting point, um, which I'm gonna roll with. I'm still confused out my ass, but I mean, I get, I get more stress every second. So basically my evening is just doing that. It's not that entertaining. And then I'm gonna edit this vlog as well. So yeah, it's not that entertaining. I think I might just go and put a face mask on because my skin's been looking quite tired at the moment. Okay, I've um, I've come into the bathroom because I want to use this Glam Glow face mask because I feel like putting a face mask on will help me de-stress before, before I've got to tackle this essay. I have taken my makeup off, by the way. Um, but I think, oh look, it's like that. I thought it was going to be metallic. It's like a rose gold. Can you see that? Oh god, it's got my hair in it. But hopefully this will stress free me, de-stress me. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. But yeah, nothing too exciting tonight. I'm just gonna have a bit of salmon, a bit of dinner, 
and then get this essay done it's just all my finals are coming up like i have two deadlines and then an exam so i'm just i think it's sunk in but not really i think it will sink in when i'm like day before this essay is due and i'm rushing to get it done as per usual i've known about this essay for like weeks now um but we just never start them we just never start them with enough time and that is a lesson learned for next year especially when they start getting longer and the essay questions start getting harder but there we go leave that on how long does it say like a bit like the gold man or something i don't know um um oh my god i think i'm an oh my god i think i'm an idiot i think i'm an idiot i've just looked on this mask like oh my god how long do i have to leave this on for yeah Apply evenly to face for an instant sexy Hollywood glow. Wear alone or layer with your favourite foundation for a little extra glow. It's not even a mask. It's not even a face mask. My... Don't even talk to me right now. Don't even talk to me right now. How is this not a face mask? But anyway, I'm going to take this off. And then, yeah, as I told you, I'm just focusing on lectures. And then I'm going to upload some more bits to my vintage shop. So go and check out my vintage shop. My app is literally just Lydia Baylor Zillow. It's literally the same as my Instagram and YouTube. So you will find me on there. I'm very easy to find. And yeah. Oh, go sell your pre-loved goods and give them a second home with vintage. Because it's honestly the easiest thing that I've ever used. So if I can use it you can all use it as well so i'm gonna end this vlog here because this is my day i'm not doing anything more exciting unless you want to sit next to me and do my essay with me um i will do though like a little study with me video because i haven't actually done one of them yet and i feel like you would like one of them so i'm gonna end this vlog here thank you all so much for watching um and i'll catch you in the next video bye